What's up everybody? Welcome back to GeForce Garage. My name is Dwight and today we are building a computer around the 1080 Ti, but with a twist. So we are building a rig around the GTX 1080 Ti and I know you guys didn't expect it, but we are using an AMD Ryzen chip because for the price to performance ratio, the 1700X just hits a sweet spot that we can't ignore. That's gonna be going inside of the ROG Crosshair 6 Hero motherboard. For storage, we have the Intel 750 series NVMe drive, 400 gigs. And to go alongside that, we have the Samsung Evo 500 gig to install all of our games on. And since we already have red, green, and blue in our build, and it's 2017, we have a set of RGB RAM from G-Skill, RGB fans from Corsair, to cool it, we have the H100i V2. To power all of it, we have the Corsair RM750X. And all of that is gonna be going inside of the Fantex Eclipse P400. All right, so that's enough talk. Let's get to building this thing. All right, so we have it all built now. I'm actually quite pleased with this case. There's only one major gripe that I have about it and that usually I like to have the CPU cooler up top because heat rises, that sort of thing. But uh, with our fans installed as well, it was interfering with the motherboard. So I had to move it to the front, turn the fans around to a pull instead of a push. But you know, it's no biggie. I've put stuff in the front before and it works perfectly fine and I have no doubts that this will also perform perfectly fine. The only other thing too, since we did go with all RGB fans, every fan has an extra wire. And all those extra wires kind of add up to kind of a, I want to say rat's nest. That, that's, that seems too negative. Just there's a lot more wires in the back than what I would typically have, but still pretty good. Speaking of the RGB, we have RGB fans that cycle through colors. We have RGB RAM that also cycles through colors. We have RGB on a motherboard that cycles through colors. And we also have an RGB on the front as well, and that's at the front of the bottom here, which doesn't cycle on its own, but there is a button up here that helps you cycle through the colors. So I'm gonna keep mine on green because uh, green's the best. But uh, that wasn't enough LEDs for us, so we decided to add in a strip of RGB as well, just to throw it to the next level, because like I said, it's 2017 and it's all about RGB. Anyways, this thing looks pretty. Let's toss the glass side panel back on and see how well it performs. For the sake of consistency, we're starting with 3 Mark's DX12 Time Spy test again. Our 1070 build scored just shy of the recommended 4K gaming benchmark, and to no surprise, this beast surpassed it by quite a bit, hitting 8,634, nearly 2,000 points above the 4K gaming PC level. We'll be ignoring 1080p gaming with these tests since the rig can crush any game at that resolution. The first game I tested was Mass Effect Andromeda. At 1440p on ultra high settings, it keeps a steady low 90 frames per second with peaks above 100. When we bump it up to 4K on high settings, we get a pretty solid 55 to 60 frames per second during firefights. Next I tried Prey at 1440p on very high settings. It averaged around 75 frames per second and even after changing it to 4K, I only saw a small decrease with an average of 60 to 65 frames per second with no change to the quality of graphics. With The Witcher 3 on high settings, it averaged around 80 to 85 frames per second at 1440p. When moving to 4K and bumping down to medium graphics, we get an average of 60 frames per second. Now to try a game that isn't super optimized, Player Unknown's Battleground. I only played this at 1440p, but my settings were all medium with textures on ultra high. I averaged about 70 to 80 frames per second during most of the match. And to cap it off, I booted up GTA 5 again, skipped 1440p and went straight to 4K. With everything turned up, we managed to stay around 75 frames per second. Not bad. So as expected, this thing performed out of this world, it's beauty and it's a beast. The only thing left is to throw the GeForce Garage badge on the front. If you guys want to see more builds like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you want to see something else that we haven't done, leave a comment down below. Anyways, we'll see you guys for the next one.